I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20. They bring him down and they bring him down hard on that one. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Quick strike to the receiver. They bring him down at the 38. You've got to play with that kind of purpose to move the ball against this defense. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. They got some pressure on him there. And that's exactly what this defense wants to do. Get some pressure on the quarterback and force him to throw the ball into coverage. And down he goes to the 38-yard line. to that quickly and he's taken down at the 49 yard line i like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved he's explosive and you just want to get the ball in his hands got it and brought down immediately the 42. Gain of two on the That'll bring up third and inches. Here we go! Red, six, And he carries the ball for a nice game. Down and he's going to get sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. From the 40 yard line, it's second down. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. That was a dangerous pass. Well, you should have known better than to throw that football into coverage like that. You can't expect the receiver to come down with that ball. From the 50, first down. He's at the 40. He's at the 30, and they finally make the stop at the 25. And he busted that one wide open. On defense, you can't afford to give up big runs like that. Caught, and he's hit immediately. He's on the run. The 10. Tackle made at the 8-yard line. He's taken down right around the 4-yard line. Yardage on that 
And this play is number eight on the drive. And they got him for a loss. This one should be makeable. Try to take the lead by a field goal. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 31. The Warhawks are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. So they run the same pass play again. Yeah, typically you'll see this when teams are having success with a particular player. They feel confident about a play's chances. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Ready, ready, He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. The 10. And a huge touchdown play. at someone who makes a defense nervous because not every quarterback can break off a run like that. He's a real talent. And he adds the extra points. A five-play, 70-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown run. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Here he goes. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. He scrambled. They bring the quarterback down. He's going to try and scramble. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Porter awaits the snap. Gets to about the 47-yard line. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Troy holds a four-point lead. the stop around the 44-yard line. Not a lot of off 
defense in quarter number one. But nonetheless, we've got a close game. 7-3, Trojan. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. and he's taken down to the backfield. That's a loss of four yards on the play. Third down. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 48. Mike Ford, Mike Ford. Let's go! Quick throw. He's tackled at the 49. Good possession there for the defense. Takes him down behind the line at the 49 yard line. Fourth down. Johnson awaiting the return. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Scrambling around. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. Hunt comes away with two yards on the scramble. He's hit immediately. Gaining 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Three down, three down. Mike two, Mike two. Get in. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down at the 46. That brings him second and one. A fumble. Defense says they've got it, and they do. I tell you, when the option works, it can be beautiful to watch. But when it doesn't, it can go horribly wrong. Not a good result for the offense. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Troy is up by four. Came down with it. That'll make it second to seven. He's scrambling. He gets sacked on the play. The blitz was the call, but the D lineman was the one who made his way to the quarterback. And he showed great quickness getting off the line into the backfield. This guy can move for a big fella. Third down, nine to go. Ball on the 41. The Warhawks, he's quarterback, taken off earlier. Down on the sideline right now. Doesn't look like he's in that much pain, and I would bet that we'll see him back in the game before the day is over. He's going to go for the home run. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Geiger was the intended receiver on the play, and that'll bring up a punting situation. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Johnson, back to return it. He makes it to the 35-yard line. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Gaining five yards. That brings him second and five. Two, Mike, two. Here we go, Pete. It's just, it's, it's just me and you. It's just me and you. They go with the runner. He 
He's taken down behind the line. From their own 37-yard line, third down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He tackles him for a loss. This one is a beauty. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 40. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he throws it away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 40. Troy is up four. Looks to his receiver, first down. And down he goes at about the 45. receiver and he can't make the grab. Number 13, the intended receiver on the play. From the 45 yard line. Second down. Four down, four down. Mike four, Mike four. Got his man. Oh, what a hit. going to get a great stop and the halfback carries for a pickup of three they'll call on the field goal unit He gets it up, and it's wide left. No good. Well, sometimes when you see a kick like that, the kicker is trying to compensate for a factor, maybe like the wind, and he thinks he can hook it back in. It didn't happen that time. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They'll line up with five wide receivers. But open field. And he's taken down around the 47-yard line. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice game for the offense. Tackle at the 37-yard line. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Throws in a hurry. They can't connect. Incomplete. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He fights forward to about the 36. immediately tackled. That makes it first and ten. Quick pass. 
What a play, and that is first and goal. Nice job here by the quarterback of putting some air underneath this pass and letting his receiver catch up with it for a nice game. Now he's scrambling. They'll make the sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Get to that quickly. And they'll score. And that one worked just like they draw it up, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He makes the PAT. So an eight-play, 64-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some AstroTurf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. We're about set to start things up again. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. That's good here. That brings up second and nine. He's into the open field. Gets to around the 42. That's good for a gain of eight yards. First down. Quick out to his receiver. He's taken down at the 49-yard line. Harris on the tackle at the 49-yard line. That brings up second and one. Good for a game of six yards. First down. That's right, baby. They don't want it. Mike two. Mike two. He's on the run, and he's going to be sacked. This is also some young man. That'll bring up second and eleven. From the 44-yard line, it's second down. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Here's the halfback on the screen. Brought down at the 35. 
It's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. It's up. Looks long enough. And he got it. like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. Across the 30. Steps out of bounds. Around the 33-yard line. The Warhawks continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. That's a two-yard loss. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. from their own 44-yard line. It's second down. He rifles it. Makes the grab and steps out right away. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review the play, the ruling on the field stands. So the call on the field stands. First and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. Runs outside for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. No game. That'll bring up third and six. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. The kick is away. It's long enough. And it's good. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 24-yard line. The Warhawks couldn't get much going in the first half offensively, but they've really got it going here in the third quarter. I think this is a great example of just making the right adjustments at halftime. The staff got together and made the adjustments, and boy, this quarterback in this offense has gone out there and found their rhythm. A good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. Pass is caught, and the defense lays him out. He's going to try and scramble. And they got it. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. It's third down, nine to go. Ball on their own 24. Phillips gains around five yards on the draw play from scrimmage.
The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. And down he goes at the 36-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled at around the 44-yard line. Right and tackled immediately. And he's tackled at about the 47 yard line. and he's got his man. They'll bring him down at about the 43-yard line. That'll make it 77. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. The fourth quarter is going to decide who wins this low-scoring affair. The Warhawks lead 13-10. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Kicks up. No good, he hooked it right. So early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight football game, and the game could hinge on this possession. Oh, they really needed that one, and he dropped it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 40. And they make the stop around the 43 yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes, around the 49-yard line. Porter awaits the snap. Booming kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Up to this point, I wouldn't want to be an offensive coordinator in this game, but you know what? There's still time left. There's still time left, and it's still a competitive game. As bad as these offenses have looked, if you can string together a play or two, maybe try to get in the field goal range, who knows? Maybe a touchdown on the board. It could be the difference in the game. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Makes it out to about the 29. to the 40, makes it out to about the 46. Strike to his receiver, no good. Number 13, the intended receiver on the play. From their own 46 yard line, second down. Scrambles. And he's going to come up with a sack. 
Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. to the halfback on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds at the 49. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Scrambling around, and he can't get the pass off, and he's sacked. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. Less than three minutes in the game. Scrambling. Slides down to the ground. The ball just sailed on him, and he knows it. He'll get it next time. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Troy's ranking, that doesn't mean anything right now. No, they've not played up to their expectations at all, but they have the football here late in the game. They're very fortunate to still have a chance to maybe win it because they've not looked like themselves. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review the play. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. Just under two minutes in the game. Mike four, Mike four. Ready! Check, check! Hammerhead! Crosses out to the tailback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 36-yard line. From their own 36-yard line. Second down. The 38 yard line. Get to that quickly. And he's taken down at the 45 yard line. Right 
right around the 46 yard line. It's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And it's the senior. Tackle made at the 37. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. to the running back, and he tackles him hard at the 32. This is the eighth play of this drive. Troy's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Fires to the wide out, first down, and the ball bounces out of bounds. From the 21-yard line, first down. We have less than a minute to go. Throws in a hurry. Touchdown! And that puts them on top. game. They've got the football here to start this drive late with a chance to take the lead. You can't even imagine what this would do for this football team if they can put six points up on the board. Pulls it in. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 31. Five wide. Warhawks will use their first time out of the half. Over the middle to his tailback. He's taken down right around the 22-yard line. The Warhawks call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Third down and very long. And this defense now can hang back and see if they can maybe come up with an interception. Throw. He's to the 40, and he shoved out of bounds at the 44. That makes it first and 10. From their own 44-yard line, first down. Fires out to his receiver. Brought down at the 49-yard line. The Warhawks using their third and last timeout. And it all comes down to this. One last chance to throw one up and see if somebody can bring it down and win the game. And that one's fallen incomplete. This one's all but wrapped up with the final score, 17-13, Troy. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.